Hey everyone, what's up? We're back, episode two, in our run-up to launch day career mode review, honest take. We're going to be using this footage to compare to career mode post 1.0, and we're also taking a look at the career mode for anyone who is only wanting career mode from the game, because they might change a few punch animations, they might speed up the look of punches, but other than adding cutscenes for winning the belts, I don't think much is going to be changed with career mode, so... This is just to get out there footage of what to expect when career mode drops um, outside of a few punches being changed. So let's get right to it. Yesterday we got through the amateur tournament, as grueling as it was. Today we're going to continue to show um, the issues with different stance combinations. So this is the hardest one to use and extremely hard to win with because it messes up a lot of what has to be working in the game in order to have any kind of success. So if you use Southpaw with Philly Shell on traditional block, <coughs> it'll really mess up your tracking and stance. A lot of the time you'll be almost sideways to the opponent or with your back turned to them. Um, it makes blocking punches really difficult. And it also makes it so if you punch off of letting go of block, your fighter will have to turn to face the opponent first and then your punch won't come out right away, so the opponent is always going to get the hit on you first. So someone should have went through the stances, different stance styles, orthodox southpaw, different punch styles, different block styles, tried them all in different combination, and seen if any had issue. And if some had issue, they would have been corrected. And no one did that, or this wouldn't be the way it is. So when we notice that kind of low effort, that's what we're being critical of. That's not anything that we're going out of our way to dump on the game for. It's just objectively there. It's just bad. It just shows that there hasn't been much work done. And that is what is upsetting to the community, is the low effort that is continually seen in this game. And unless you're trying to ignore it, it's, it's really hard to not see it. And that's what upsets a lot of people, and that's why people are being critical of the game. There's nothing wrong with that. So we're going to have to really concentrate to win this fight. We're probably going to have to take him on points. And uh, yeah, you'll see why. Not only do we have to deal with the extreme squishiness early on in career mode, as soon as you go pro in this game, uh, on Undisputed, all they do is make it so every punch that hits you does like a zillion damage. Um, so yeah, it's, it's amazing balance. Um, and yeah, combined with this block, it's going to be hard. See, right away, just standing there, it like throws it off. And a lot of the time, our head will be like sideways, so we won't intercept the punch on our glove, you can see. And it will also allow him to hit our body really freely and easily. So this is probably going to be one of the hardest <laughs> career mode fights. And after this one, we're going to be going back to uh, Philly Shell, Philly Shell, because at least it's somewhat usable. We have no tools to get on the inside as well, and we are a very, very short little fighter with a reach disadvantage. We're going to have to fight smart and probably win this on point. See, my health is already, like, yellow, and I have hardly gotten touched, and this is how they balance the bad AI in uh, Undisputed when you go pro. We also have the speed p preset. I don't know why that hook didn't hit him, but okay. Tried hugging me there. Luckily we got out. Good couple power shots to end it there. Bad first round. What a first round. Good shots. The corner is just all over the place in this game. 
Um, it's another area where I noticed low effort. I know in Fight Night, a lot of people loved the corner mini games. A lot of people hated them. But the fact is they were there, and it showed passion. It showed a high level of effort and a high level of uh, love for the project they were creating. And you felt that all the way through those games. See how my tracking was messed up there for a while and my guy had to like readjust and that whole time I couldn't do anything. Well, I could have, but it wouldn't have worked. <laughs> there, I got hit because I wasn't facing the guy with my gloves. And these are issues that need to be fixed. Like, I don't know why people are upset that we're being critical of these things. If you want a good game, people need to be highlighting these issues. Because clearly at Steel City, they're not getting, getting it. And then you get arm fatigue in s times when it just doesn't make sense. And those times it doesn't make sense, it usually benefits the, uh, the AI greatly. <laughs> Like, <laughs> that's when it really messes up. Oh, we gained 1% health back, so our health is okay now. They're not coming back. Watch for the sucker punch, which means basically watch for the AI to program fuck you. So hopefully we make it out of this fight, and then we're going to change our stance, because our point will have been proven. See, we took a shot there because we can't block low when we're in that messed up stance. I thought we dropped him there, but the animation was just going all weird. I gotta be so careful to not get hit when my tracking is all messed up here because it only takes a shot or two and uh, in the late rounds when the AI can't beat you on points, they just pod fuck you so hard with like force programming to let the AI beat you. It's like you see in standard sports games, but it's really poorly, poorly hidden in this game where it's really obvious and just feels like you're getting cheated. Just out of range on that. If I could actually rely on my blocking, I'd try trading a bit more, but I don't want this game screwing me. We're going to get that win. All right, we're up three. We don't need to take any dumb risk. It 
and yeah, the jab works terribly in this game. Unless you let yourself get close enough and then just flick it as you backstep. It's really the only decent way to use it. Like that. Otherwise, it's so telegraphed. I hope the new jab is better. It looks better. That's the one punch I will agree looks better, is the new jab. It looks like we're going to be able to utilize it. That's for sure. Okay. You can see the issues that I'm trying to highlight here with the tracking because of the combination of stance I'm using and how someone testing the game hasn't brought this to their attention and been like, yo, we got to fix this. And it's been how long? And that's the kind of thing we notice. See there, I could not block my body, so I just ate a ton of shots there for free. And new players might choose this combination. They might want to use this combination. And they're going to have that problem and experience that. And that's not going to be a good new player experience. Is that what you want? Because no one has been allowed to be critical of the game? Okay, it just tried to pud fuck me pretty hard there. You saw that. All right, we got the win. We can move on and change the damn stance back. Yay, Bob Cooter, Don Fry, dude. Okay, so see his health there. We landed 67 out of 45, uh, 67 punches compared to him landing 45 punches. He landed 19%. We landed 40%. We landed 34 fucking power punches, 60% of them. He landed one out of nine power punches. We have 73% health. He has 93% health. They just artificially inflate the AI in this game <laughs> to a whole other level. I understand he had like a maybe five or six point stat boost on us, but that's not that much. So we took on the hardest opponent, and we'll get the exact same reward. So I think why the game messes up when you have that stance combination is because what I'm going to show you in the next episode, but I will explain it a bit here, and I'll recap it on it in the next episode as well. So what I believe it is, is if you use a fighter um, who has like a, a pre-built fighter in the game, like uh, Lerone Edwards or uh, Sergio Martinez, someone who has a southpaw stance, um, they will generally kind of stand with their hand down, kind of almost in what looks like a Philly shell stance already. See? Southpaw, traditional A. You see how it kind of already resembles a Philly shell? So when you go Southpaw, Philly shell, traditional block, it seems to mess it up. But if I want to use like a Philly shell kind of style with traditional block, I just pick Southpaw, traditional, and traditional block. So there's something in there that's screwing it up and someone should have noticed that and fixed it already. So the last thing we're going to cover in this episode is the in-between fight stuff. So our gym. We can work on fight sharpness or weight reduction. So I want to ask you, what is fight sharpness? What would be working on fight sharpness mean? That would mean training, right? That would mean training. So if we're training, why are we getting fat as fuck at the same time we are training? We're just like eating McDonald's and KFC while we're training. Okay, that makes no sense. Like we're a professional fighter. So that doesn't make sense to me, okay? So we advance a week, we're under trained. Now we're max trained, just like that, okay? But now we've gotten fat. So what would weight reduction mean? Look at what the symbol is, it's a weight, okay? So it means working out. So if we're working out, why are we forgetting how to fight? We're professional fighters. Like if I do a few weeks of weight reduction, let's see, one, two, I'm still trained. So now we're going to negotiate a fight. Oh, it's Antoine Nelson again. 
Okay, so amazing, amazing selection in the fighters they're going to give you right out the gate. And most new players won't know this, so I'm going to teach you this. Hit Y, and you can pick your own fighters to go against. These are all the guys that I don't think we can select. Oh, no, we can select these guys. So we can pick a fight with any of these guys. So Jamal Sanderson, Terrence Carter. <laughs> that looks like a Terrence Carter if I ever saw one. And then we got Antoine Sanderson and Antoine Nelson below. So that's where we're going to leave off with this episode. I think that's a good spot. And we will be back tomorrow with episode three. Take care, everyone. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I appreciate all the support. Take care.